G'day IT professionals, my name is Oren Thomas and I'm a Principal Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. In these videos I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. In this video we're going to talk about Windows Server and DNS zones. Specifically we will cover Active Directory Integrated and Standard Primary Zones Secondary Zones Reverse Lookup Zones Stub Zones and Global Names Zones Let's get started. DNS Zones store DNS resource record information. A DNS zone is just a collection of records, usually mapping fully qualified domain names to IP addresses, but also storing other record types, which we won't go into in this video. The DNS server service in Windows Server supports several zone types, each of which is appropriate for a different set of circumstances. These zone types include primary, secondary, stub, reverse, and global name zones. A DNS server hosting a primary zone is the primary source for information about this zone. It stores the zone data in a local file or in ADDS. To create, edit, or delete resource records, you must use the primary zone. Secondary zones are read-only copies of primary zones. When you store zone data in ADDS, other features are available, such as secure dynamic updates and the ability for each domain controller that hosts the zone to function as a primary DNS server and be able to process updates to the zone. When you deploy Active Directory, a DNS zone that is associated with your organization's ADDS domain name is automatically created. For example, if you deploy a new domain controller for the Forest Contoso dot internal. A new DNS zone with the name Contoso dot internal will automatically be created to support the ADDS domain. By default, the ADDSDNS zone replicates to any other domain controller configured as a DNS server in the domain. You can also configure Active Directory Integrated DNS Zones to replicate to all domain controllers within an ADDS forest or specific domain controllers enrolled in a particular ADDS domain partition. In this demo, we will create two different primary zones, an ADDS integrated zone and a standard primary zone. We begin in the DNS Manager console on a Windows Server computer. This console is connected to a domain controller named Tailwind-DC. Present already are the two zones that are automatically created to support the Tailwind Traders dot internal active directory domain, Tailwind Traders dot internal and underscore MSDC S dot Tailwind Traders dot internal. To create a new primary zone, we right click on the forward lookup zones node and choose new zone. This opens the Welcome to the New Zone wizard. We choose Next. On the Zone Type page, we see that Primary Zone is already selected. The default when creating a new forward lookup primary zone on a DNS server hosted on a domain controller is that the zone data will be stored in Active Directory. We choose to leave that option enabled and choose Next. If we were creating a primary zone on a Windows Server member server with the DNS role installed, Active Directory integration would not be available as an option. The next option is to choose Replication Scope. The default is all domain controllers within the domain. You can also choose all domain controllers that have a specific directory partition configured, or all domain controllers in the forest. We choose to replicate the zone to all domain controllers in the forest. On the zone name page, we choose the zone name. Here we create a zone to only be used internally, so we give it the name adatum.internal. As we have created an Active Directory integrated zone, we get to choose how we process zone updates. Zone updates relate to clients performing updates not someone creating records manually using the DNS Management Console or PowerShell. We keep the default of Secure Dynamic Updates. We select Finish to complete the wizard. Now we will create a traditional forward lookup zone. 
To do this, we again select the Forward Lookup Zones node and then choose New Zone. On the Welcome to the New Zone wizard page, we select Next. On the Zone Type page, we keep Primary Zone selected, but remove the check in the Store the Zone in Active Directory checkbox. On the Zone Name page, we enter the name of the zone we are creating. In this case, we are calling the zone Fabricum.internal. As this is a non-integrated primary zone, we then specify the file name that will store zone records with a default file name proposed for us. On the Dynamic Update page, you will note that the option for only secure dynamic updates is not available because the zone is not Active Directory integrated. We configure the zone not to allow dynamic updates. We select Finish and the zone is created. A secondary zone is a read-only copy of a primary zone. When a zone that this DNS server hosts is a secondary zone, this DNS server is a secondary source for information about this zone. The zone at this server must be obtained from another remote DNS server computer that also hosts the zone. This DNS server must have network access to the remote DNS server that supplies this server with updated information about the zone, because a secondary zone is only a copy of a primary zone that is hosted on another server, it can't be stored in ADDS as an Active Directory integrated zone. In most cases, a secondary zone periodically copies resource records directly from the primary zone. But in some complex configurations, a secondary zone can copy resource records from another secondary zone. Zone transfers allow you to control the circumstances under which a secondary zone is replicated from a primary zone. To improve the security of your DNS infrastructure, allow zone transfers only for either the DNS servers in the name server NS resource records for a zone or for specified DNS servers. If you allow any DNS server to perform a zone transfer, you're potentially allowing internal network information such as the name and IP address of that important bubble jet printer to be transferred to any host that can contact your DNS server. In this demo, we will configure zone transfer settings and configure a secondary zone. We start by editing the properties of the Tailwind Traders dot internal zone on the domain controller Tailwind DC. On the zone transfers tab, we enable the allow zone transfers option and select to any server. We then switch across to the member server, Tailwind MBR1. On Tailwind MBR1, we select the Forward Lookup Zones node and then select New Zone. We select Next on the Welcome page. On the Zone Type page, we choose Secondary Zone. We then specify the name of the secondary zone and specify the address of the DNS server that we wish to replicate the zone information from. We choose Finish. We then select the Tailwind Traders dot internal node and see that the zone records have replicated from the primary server. A stub zone is a copy of a zone that contains only those resource records that are necessary to identify the authoritative domain name system, DNS, servers for that zone. Typically, you use a stub zone to resolve names between separate DNS namespaces. A stub zone only contains information about the authoritative name servers for the zone. The zone hosted by the DNS server must obtain its information from another DNS server that hosts the zone. This DNS server must have network access to the remote DNS server to copy the authoritative name server information about the zone. Stub zones enable a DNS server to perform recursion using the stub zones list of name servers without having to query the internet or an internal root server for the DNS namespace. In most domain name system, DNS lookups, clients typically perform a forward lookup, which is a search that is based on the DNS name of another computer as it is stored in a host A resource record. This type of query expects an IP address as the resource data for the answered response. DNS also provides a reverse lookup process in which clients use a known IP address and look up a computer name based on its address. A reverse lookup takes the form of a question such as, can you tell me the DNS name of the computer that uses the IP address 
192.168.1.20. In this demo, we will configure a reverse lookup zone. We start in the DNS Manager console for Tailwind DC. We right-click Reverse Lookup Zones and select New Zone. Reverse Lookup Zones can be primary, secondary, or stub zones, and can also be Active Directory integrated. In this case, we choose Primary Zone and choose Next. We then select the replication scope for the Reverse Lookup Zone. In this case, we accept the default domain replication scope and choose Next. We are then asked whether we want an IPv4 lookup zone or IPv6 lookup zone. As we don't want to run with scissors, we choose IPv4. We are then asked for the network ID. This is the first three octets of the subnet ID. Even if you don't use a slash 24 subnet, the way that reverse lookup zones are constructed means that you can only configure them with this particular range or as a slash 16 or slash 8. Here we choose 10.10.10 .10 for a slash 24 subnet as that's the network that this lab is deployed on. Now that we have both a forward and reverse lookup zone deployed, we can create a host record and check that the corresponding PTR record is created. We right click on the tailwindtraders.internal zone, select new host and enter the name Sydney. We specify an IP address and also choose the option to create a PTR record. We are informed the host record is created. We can see the host record in the tailwindtraders.internal zone. And then we can also see, after we refresh, the PTR record created in the reverse lookup zone. A global name zone is a special type of zone that allows you to use a DNS server to provide single name resolution in the same way that WINS did for NetBIOS name resolution. A global name zone allows you to enable DNS resolution of these single label, static, global names. You can deploy a global name zone in a single forest or across multiple forests. When a client queries a single name rather than a fully qualified domain name, the global name zone can provide a response. In this video, you learned about Windows Server and DNS zones. Specifically, we discussed Active Directory Integrated and Standard Primary Zones, Secondary Zones, Reverse Lookup Zones, Stub Zones, and Global Name Zones. We'll be publishing more Windows Server Basics videos on this channel soon. If you've got a specific topic you want to see covered, leave it in the comments below.